Ukraine it seems so simple. This tritone dominant sound is the most natural. I do not believe that improvised jazz melodies need to sound complicated. I generally think that jazz improvisation should sound beautiful and melodic. And this is where Coltrane is excellent. Coltrane understands this and knows how to hit the essence of matching lines. He knows how to strongly lead these into each other. In this line from Coltrane's solo on a Leo from the Miles Davis album Relaxing, Coltrane shows some incredibly logical solo playing, to the degree that you don't even hear that Coltrane is playing some highly altered dominant sounds. In this way, Coltrane's direct approach shines clearly through everything he's playing and makes almost every played line very understandable. Of course, Coltrane involved and also played much more far out stuff. But in the period with Miles Davis, there was a clear, understandable logic in Coltrane's playing. What is Coltrane's direct approach and how can we get to use this in our own playing? For this, we need a bit of analysis. Let's look into how Coltrane makes his dominant lines sound so natural and so uncomplicated. <laughs> In many of the lines Coltrane plays, he often chooses a direct approach into that target note, kind of disregarding the Barry Harris wisdom of putting the target notes onto the beats of the bar. So Coltrane's direct approach makes so much sense, it sounds kind of old fashioned, but fits his playing so well. I want to challenge your ears for a bit, try listening to this for a couple of seconds. <laughs> These are Bach inventions and the melody is super simple and totally logical. And surprisingly, Coltrane's direct approach line sounds so much like these Bach lines made 300 years ago. See that the motif is basically just one major scale hitting the one in the third bar, that G sharp on the E major chord. And when you play the line of Bach, it sounds super close to jazz lines. Now listen to this line of Coltrane. <laughs> So a conclusion to the direct approach is that it creates clarity in your lines. And the clarity is definitely influenced by classical music. What we need to get this tritone substitute dominant into your playing is connecting the F sharp major 7 scale into the C major scale. The problem with these two keys is that they lie a full tritone interval apart from each other. The furthest distance two musical keys can be away from each other. I'm talking about major scales. Because in the F sharp major 7 scale, the C sharp 7 dominant lies. And the C sharp 7 dominant is the tritone going into that C major chord. So we need this connection to work. Not only did Coltrane discover the clarity of the direct approach, he also found out that it works for all chords and scales. So he added it to the tritone substituted dominant too. I'll just take a step back and make this totally clear. We start by a direct approach with diatonic scales, playing the G7 into C major. We need to mark our aim and putting that C as our target note. Then I want to move backwards up the scale to where we begin, then start playing. Playing that full scale results in that we are starting on the 9th of the major scale, going into that root of the C major chord. Knowing this enables us to use this on the C sharp 7 chord also. And the result is a totally clear tritone dominant scale going into that C chord, going into the tonic. Now add this tritone dominant into more chord progressions. Try adding a subdominant in front of it. Here's the D minor. <laughs> We start out with the diatonic approach. Hear how clear that dominant is. And now just do the same for the tritone substituted dominant. And in this way, you see that the tritone substituted dominant does not become any way complicated because you're just running down that scale resolving into that C on the C major chord. And this is how you get really clear musical communication in a quite complicated chord setting. All the licks in the full direct approach is in all 12 keys in the lesson manual on Patreon. Download the material to get the easiest steps into adding these tritone substituted dominants into your playing right now. The link is in the description. But really 
off, you do not need a full bar of Tritone Substitute Dominant. Or you want to add a rhythmic variation. I just try different rhythmic approaches to get a little bit more interesting line. But changing the rhythm along the way also changes the target notes. You see that the target note becomes a D when you're changing this rhythm. Playing and practicing anything you really want to add flexibility. So mess around with the rhythm to get different target notes. Here you're ending on an E. Start hearing the target notes and then add different ways to get into that target note, adding the line afterwards. And then of course learn how to get to these target notes using the tritone substituted dominant. When you want different target notes, you also want to alter the beginning note. And when you're adding these lines into your music, the beginning note also becomes a target note. Because you need to hit that begin note of the tritone substituted lick. With whatever line comes before that line. And the flexibility comes when you're able to play from anywhere and get into any target note in the tonic chord. I'm Dr. Stephen Strange. I need you to come with me. You really want to break the dimension between the tritone substitute dominant and the diatonic scale notes. You see how I now connect the D minor chord into that C sharp 7 chord, suddenly connecting into a B instead of that normal C sharp. Earlier. A really big step is when you start connecting any tone of the tritone substituted dominant into the chord notes of the tonic chords. When you're playing that tritone substituted dominant, you want the freedom to resolve into any note. And the best way to get this thoroughly into your playing is making up lines or composing lines where you use this, where you really make the resolve happen. So here's how. Begin by composing short lines. <laughs> Resolving into your target note. The short lines can be like Coltrane has his four note cells. <laughs> Playing these short four note tritone substituted dominant lines into the tonic enables you to get that sound into your ears and hear the result. <laughs> then gradually add more in the beginning of the line, getting longer and longer lines. Start listening into the target notes you want to hit. <laughs> And then of course add the lines into longer chord progressions and fool around with the rhythm. As you probably know I'm a huge fan of John Coltrane and there is still so much we can learn from him. And this is why I recommend this video to you. This is a Coltrane deep dive into all kinds of dominance. Really worth checking out. Play music, have fun.